Peace y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. It is hot out here, so I hope everyone is staying hydrated. I'm getting ready to drink me some water. But I just wanted to do a mini Dollar Tree haul. So I tried to avoid Dollar Tree because I know I'm gonna go in there and spend some unnecessary money. And if you go in there all the time, you'll realize how quickly them coins add up. Excuse the AC, it is high, y'all. I'm just trying to cool the car down real quick. Do this video real quick because I'm still editing my Home Depot haul. So, let me show y'all what I got for the kids. So, what I'm trying to do, summer has started. The kids are, we are officially done homeschooling. I wanted to do like a four-week intensive for them, but I haven't planned that out yet. And I'm still deciding if I want to do that or if I want to just put them in like a program over the summer. And I'm late. I'm looking for co-ops for next year. I got so much going on. But what I'm trying to do right now is just keep them engaged because they spend a lot of time traveling back and forth with us to the land. And um, I just want them to be engaged in the project and see the vision. They do. They already do. But um, I just wanted them to have some activities that they can do in regards to their helping out or them feeling involved in what we have going on because right now they can't do anything like we can't they can't do the yard work because of the poison stomach they can't help out with the camper because we have wood rot and god knows what else that we have to like clean out of there after we get done like putting the flooring down and fixing the walls um, so we have to basically replace a lot, a few of the walls and some of the floor and the roof. Okay. <laughs> so right now they can't do any of that, but when it's time for us to like paint and wallpaper and all that other good stuff, they would be able to help and be engaged and feel like they are a part of the project. And then when we start putting down the grass seed, they'll also be able to help with that. But that is a way down the road because all these things are expensive and we have to do stuff little by little. So they won't probably be able to help until like going into the school year and going into the school year that means that they'll be having school work will be homeschooling it'll be a lot going on and so they won't be able to do as much as they could do right now so just right now to keep them engaged and what's going on i got a few things from dollar tree i'm gonna show you guys so don't judge me y'all i am on a budget and y'all know why. But I still got them some stuff. So first and foremost, let me show y'all what I feel was so cute. I got them some little tote bags. So last year, I didn't do a good job vlogging last year. Like I had so much going on that I didn't do a good job. But last year, or the year before last, no last year, for Ramadan, um, the kids got some plain white t-shirts and they drew um, whatever they wanted to help them remember Ramadan. Um, no, actually, you know what? I drew on one of the shirts. I have, I bought some um, fabric markers and I did a shirt for my son. I don't think I have a picture anymore and the shirt is it's old now. Like I got the shirts from this company and they didn't like hold up very well, but it was really nice when I first did them. Um, and then the kids, they did tie-dye. So they tied that their shirt and then they put like Ramadan 2020 at the bottom of their shirt as a way to keep them engaged because we couldn't go to the masjid as much as we used to do to y'all know what the promise. But anyway, so I got them this and I had to buy them some more fab fabric markers, which I'm upset about because I told them to leave the markers alone. Now I must be the markers. They had markers, color pencils, crayons. Uh, permanent bar. They had all these other. I like every time I go to Michaels, Walmart, anywhere. I always buy art supplies because my kids love to draw, color, paint, like any other kids. And the things that I tell them not to mess with, that's what they mess up. That's what they mess up. They messed that up. So now I have to buy more fabric markers, unfortunately. But I'm gonna get some more fabric markers, and this is gonna be their little travel bag. So when we're going to and from the land, they can fill it up with snacks, toys, coloring books, whatever they want to put in here. It's not that big, but you know, they can fit a few things in here. And plus, I always take my book bag, so this can just be their, you know, 
little extra. Honestly, y'all, when we travel back and forth to the land, I take um, a cooler. So I pack food, I pack a cooler, drinks, all that other stuff in the cooler. And then I have my book bag that's full of everything that we feel like we're gonna need while we're out on the road. So this would just be for them to like put toys in, whatever. My daughter always has her, um, she always has her um, little booklet, uh, scrapbook. Book. Sketchbook, sorry, yeah. She always has her sketchbook, so gotta go right in here. I'm gonna have to get some fabric markers, and I'm praying I can find some on sale at Walmart somewhere, hopefully. So, those that's what I got for them. Then I got some of these. So, let me show you the other thing first. I always get canvases, they've been painting canvases since they were like two or three years old. So, I got them for a dollar. Like, canvases are expensive. Go to um, Michael's and one of these will be like five dollars. Okay, so to find them for one dollar at Dollar Tree was really nice. It's really nice. Like, I really want to like stock up on them and get a whole lot, and hopefully, I don't miss them because I'm not going to be able to stock up on them for a while. But if I can stock up on them, and I might just plan around it and try to like just go and buy a rack of them because I'm gonna probably be using these a lot. They don't like you don't you don't have to have these these are good for like if you're trying to hang them up on the wall but they have like a really thin one that you can just keep like you can just use them and you don't have to hang them up you can just file them away or whatever you want to do with them and um i have a lot of ideas on how to utilize their art without it actually having to be on the wall because we're going to have such limited space and then once they have their own room like once the house is built and they have a nice room and we have like a, a um, homeschooling area which that's the best I have a lot of thoughts about that too and I'm gonna make another video about that later on but then once they have that space for homeschooling and their own space to do what they want to do then they can hang up a lot of their art you know uh, maybe like step stones to see where they came to where they are so that's that on that this right here we're just going to um, paint they're gonna do their name and I got some little um, feathers or like a border so they can like border it or whatever they want to do with these little feathers that's big and cute. Um, so they're going to do their name and we're going to hang it up over their seat at the table because believe it or not, yes, my kids are older, they still fight over seats. So I got paint brushes, um, some little paint sponges. I love textured, like the textured sponges for painting. So that's that. They had some larger ones and I wanted to do like some paint splatters in their room. So I'm gonna go back and get that. Um, I could have got everything today, but I just, you know, I got a budget. I got to figure out what's what, what's what, because we're heading back out to the land next week and we have a lot to do. Um, and it's also about to be the first to keep the world feels about to be new. Um, we got some, I got some sequins. So, I have sequins so that they can, you know, they can either put some sequins on their little tote bags or they can border the outside of the canvas, whatever they want to do for them. And then last but last least, I got my daughter's a puzzle they can do together, and then I got my son a puzzle. And they can either work with that with him, or he can do it by himself, he's only 48 pieces. I love puzzles, as y'all can see. Like y'all, if you see my old videos, y'all know. I love puzzles, so. I got them some puzzles to increase their love with puzzles. And that's pretty much what I got today. They had a lot of stuff in there. Like, I wanted to take video, but I feel like sometimes when I take video, it's so choppy. Like, when I go inside of the store, I'm looking for a camera, but really, I just have to hold my hands steady. So, I, they had a lot of stuff. Like, Dollar Tree has stuff their game all the way up. Dollar Tree is not playing. They coming for all the coins. So, um, they had a lot of stuff. They had a lot of paint. I didn't get paint yet because for one when they do this exercise I want to be able to like sit down with them 
and devote like a lot of time with them so that it'll be like a family exercise, like a family thing. Um, I might go back and get myself one just because even though I don't want to hang one up for myself, but just to do it with them. And then um, also I have to take inventory of how much paint or what colors I have at home already. So instead of just buying up all the different paints because it's not like they have it together inside one container, you know, like when you go and you buy like the Crayola um, paint and it's like six to eight different colors inside. Um, they didn't have any of that. You had to purchase them individually. And normally when you purchase like them all together, you can get six to eight colors for probably like five or six dollars. And for here, you have to buy them all individually, which it still will probably be around the same price. And you're, probably, and you're gonna get more paint from here. But still, I need to go home and see how much and what colors I already have before I purchase. But, um, and then I also wanna get like an idea what colors they actually want. <laughs> So, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably vlog it one day. I should do their activities. But, um, I feel good about this, about this going forward because, I feel good about this because, you know, they had three different activities and it was $12 to get all of this stuff. $12 or some change. So, for three different activities, for $12, thumbs up like really thumbs up i have to do like a guard like an indoor garden of it for y'all because all the plants are growing like crazy y'all know like a lot of my leaves died during the winter time now everything is like sprouting like wildfire and y'all not even gonna believe the lemon tree when y'all see so stay tuned but thanks again for watching. Hit a thumbs up. I will see you guys shortly in the next video for the Home Depot haul. And then as well for the next update. So it'll be another video next week of what we're going to get done over the weekend. Next weekend. So I hope you guys are staying safe. Hydrated in this heat. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video.